Hi everybody and welcome to my Unruly Housewife channel. Today I am doing a tutorial and it's part of a collaboration um, between myself, Teresa Pandora Salgado and Sandy Huntress from Keepsake Crafts. We are all doing tutorials around the theme exotic botanicals. This is what I'm making. I'm showing you how to make this today. It's my amazing hollow jungle egg. Um, I will show you a picture in a second of what Sandy and Teresa are making and I really urge you after you watch my video to go and watch their videos because they're both very talented ladies and they're making very beautiful things so I'll let you have a look at those now. Didn't they look great? I really I'm gonna go and watch those tutorials myself because um, they've all just come out at the same time today so can't wait. Uh, in the meantime Let's have a look at my tutorial. Let's find out how to make this egg. Mmm, spooky. And um, yeah, enjoy. Okay, welcome to the fun part. Here we are with our blown egg, just standing in a cutter there, and some extruded clay. And I used my makings machine, but I'm sure it doesn't matter. And the disc has a two millimeter hole in it. I think I measured it, it looked like two millimeters to me. So we've got this extruded clay. It's Fimo Soft in Tropical Green and I warmed it up really well before I extruded it because I wanted to minimise the sort of cracking that you can get when you um, extrude clay. This is the egg that we're trying to make and as you can see it's got some quite big gaps in it and it's quite random. The This clay is quite thin but um, it doesn't matter too much because if you look we reinforce it a lot with our decorations. I like to start with a little loop of clay like this and then you're just going to try and get that to stick to your egg a little bit. I'm going to kind of flatten that on and then very gently and very randomly kind of go around and I'm going to try and make a sort of a cap I think to sit on top of my egg. And just go around like this. I'll make a bigger gap there because I'm going to cross over it tidy that up a bit. The joins and things you don't need to worry about because um, they are going to be covered up with leaves and flowers and stuff like that. I'm shaking so much. <laughs> Try not to shake when you're making your egg. <laughs> and just go around. Now look you see you can cross that over, flatten the little joins. And then if I deliberately make a big gap there and I think oh dear that, that's that's going to be a bit weak I can just use my craft knife cut a bit off the other end there and fill that gap and that will be fine can you see that just pop that across the gap these joins don't matter too much at all so in other words, what you're really doing is you're kind of scribbling on the egg with the clay. But first I just put a bit across there. And I'm just going to hold this in my hands and just do this to flatten it all down. A bit of a roll and a flatten. And I'm going to have a look at my egg and say, well, where have I got problems? Oops, crush that my ring, I think. <laughs> Where have I got problems? Where have I got gaps that are too big? Where? So I'm going to pop a little bit across there. This is quite big. But we want some gaps to be big. And oops, and because we <laughs> always drop something, because we're adding in leaves and that, they are going to close the gaps up. So we want to have enough space. Now, here we've got quite a big mound of things and they're making a bit of a lump. So what I would do with those, once I've flattened it all down, if they're persisting in being a little bit too thick, because they're layered on one another, I'm going to just trim that a little bit flatter. Again, there will be probably some kind of decoration on top of there. I don't want it to be sitting on a massive lump. So there you go. 
flatten all your head down, do a bit of a roll. Look at the profile of it, look at how your gaps are. How Once you've definitely got it the way you want it, the way it looks supported, what I do is mine. Is I just plop it into on my tile, on one of these zigzaggy bits of card, and put it into the oven for about 15 minutes at your normal cooking temperature. I'm back with the partially baked egg and it's looking really good and now it's time to add the embellishments. I've rolled out some clay on number three on my um, Atlas 150 pasta machine and except for this one, the yellow one, that's on number four, it's a little bit thinner. These are just the middles for flowers. Here I've started to cut out my embellishments, let's move this out of the way. I'm using Fimo Soft and Fimo Professional. I probably wouldn't have used soft, but I'm going for tropical colours. It's definitely don't use Sculpey 3, definitely don't use cheap clay. Try and use the strongest thing you can. Okay, so let me see. I've cut these out with different size cutters. I think it's good to have varied sizes. I use these for the flowers. And that for the flower middle. That's a leather punch. And I've used these for the leaf. This I've rolled out for little, made little balls for the seed pods. You can see here we've got little seed pods. And um, there's some white which I've rolled into balls for the middles for these flowers. So all my elements are prepared. Obviously I haven't done enough to do the whole egg. I'm just going to show you a quick demonstration. In order to adhere these to my egg, I'm going to use liquid Fimo, but you could use TLS or you could use bacon bond. So away we go. I'm going to apply this with a brush. And yeah, the, the one that we sort of trimmed down a little bit because it's quite bulky. And I'm going to use that because it's quite fun. So I've decided to put one of my large orange flowers there, but I want to lay it over a leaf. If you put the leaf on first, like that, you can push it so it's a little bit thinner at the, at the wide end, lay your flower on top, and that way you get a nice neat ending to where the leaf is. Our middle on there. It's not very straight, but I'm trying to rush. <laughs> now that I've um, done that, I might want to put a flower in, say, um, or a leaf in a different direction, and I find it's a good idea to mix it up a little bit. You don't want everything on your egg going in the same direction, so maybe I'll put a leaf there. And I'll use a smaller leaf and we'll do that going towards there because the egg's going in all different ways and I'm going to add one of my purple flowers to that. There. Now I can just make a dip in the middle. This tool, which I quite like to do and then pop one of those little white balls in the middle. You can see how that's already starting to become decorated and to look pretty. Now, down here, you could perhaps add in some of these little green seed pods. And these are really useful when you make your egg because they're so versatile and they can fill in little gaps and just add interest two areas that don't really warrant a whole leaf or a flower. It's a little bit hard to do, especially on camera. I'll probably put one in there. That's another leaf there. 
I'm going to do that one going out from that flower again. That's a small one. So it would go on until you have covered your whole egg. And you'll notice here that I've tried to spread out the orange flowers a reasonably even distance. And I've tried to leave some little bits of stalk free as well so that we can see them and so that that's, it's not too filled in. So there's the um, egg. I'm going to imagine that I've done that half. Part bake it again like I did before, about 15 minutes at the normal temperature and then I can come back and finish the egg and that means that the first half I can't squash it or spoil it or anything, it's much much easier to decorate when some of it is already hardened off. And when I've done both halves of the egg and it's all done I will put it back in the oven and this time I'm going to bake it for the full amount of time that it says on the packet so it will go into the oven for three quarters of an hour at least in my case I like to do it for at the temperature recommended by the manufacturer. Once my egg is completely baked I can go on to the next stage which is to soak the egg in white vinegar and I'm going to demonstrate that to you now but I'm going to show you not this egg I'm going to show you how I dissolved the shell out of this egg in white vinegar. So that's coming up and uh, let's get to it. Okay, here is my egg. It's baked up really nicely. I can't see any cracks or any problems with it. And um, this is how I baked it and I always use an oven thermometer. So now it's time to put the egg into this which is the distilled malt vinegar. It's just white vinegar, basically. So let me take these things out of the way. This is cooled down, by the way. And now I'm going to pour the white vinegar in. And I think that egg looks really pretty um, with the decoration over the eggshell. So I just hope it looks as pretty when it's hollow. <laughs> and as you can see, it's uh, having a bit of trouble there because it's floating. Cover it right up. But now it's nicely covered. And uh, yeah, from here on in, it is a waiting game as the chemical reaction happens between the eggshell and the vinegar. And I think in see that already it's starting to um, bubble. So we will come back to that. It's just coming up for 1pm now so we'll check on it again later and I'll show you how it's getting on. Okay we're checking in on the egg. It's four and a half hours later. I think you can see there's some kind of scummy stuff coming to the top. The egg itself, I after a couple of hours, I poked some extra holes into it to help the um, air to escape and to help the vinegar to get in. I think you can see there it's breaking down quite a bit. I'm going to try and use this to try and show how weak it is. It's quite weak. Oops, trying to do it so you can see it. Um, it's just got to carry on soaking, really. It helps to have a hole in the top there because um, it creates bubbles of carbon dioxide as the eggshell breaks down. And if you don't have holes in the top, the egg tends to float so that some of it isn't under the, um, the white vinegar. So that's going to carry on and we will check in with it either later on or tomorrow. Okay so we're nine hours in now and it's uh, the egg is still soaking in the same vinegar. It's got quite a lot of sediment oops, on top which I've just poured everywhere and um, I think it's time we looked inside the egg 
If you watched my other video about um, a previous hollow egg, you'll have seen me do this. I think it's time that the um, sort of sack inside the egg can come out. So I'm going to try and do that now. This is so grim. I just need to uh, find a place where I can grab it. Here it comes. Woo! <laughs> oh, that is disgusting. Okay, there's the grim looking sack thing that's inside the egg. And um, as you can see, we're getting a lot of the hollow look of it now, but there's a lot of egg still inside eggshell, still inside, still attached to the polymer clay. So I'm going to put it back into a, uh, I think I'll use a fresh vinegar and we'll have a look at it again in the morning. But that's, that's nine hours in. Okay, it's 21 hours now. Here's our egg. Um, I can use this dental tool to fish it out. Last night I had a little bit of a pick around with this tool to sort of break up the more stubborn parts of the eggshell. But to be honest, that wasn't necessary. I'm just really impatient. So here's our egg. Um, wait for that to get in focus. The inside is clear now of any unmelted eggshell. But there is some kind of brown sludge that wants washing away. But yeah, 21 hours, it's completely done. And I'm ready now to move on to the next part of the video and show you what the result was when it's nice and clean. And here is the finished egg, looking very um, handsome there on the shelf with my You Who and Friends toys and my philosophy books. <laughs> um, here it is. It uh, cleaned out really nicely inside. It's all fresh as a daisy. I made a little stand for it, which is possibly I could have done better um, so there it is yeah have a go at making it yourself it's um, all part remember of the Ox exotic botanicals collaboration and um, I'm going to put links here to the other ladies and to their videos do please go and check them out and they will also be linked in the description down below I hope you enjoyed this thank you for watching do like and subscribe leave any comments or questions down below I love you all and bye-bye.